I did a PhD so I could find out if I could actually complete something. I did a PhD because I wanted to become a lecturer and potentially one day a full professor, like my dad. Uh, I did my PhD because my little sister was going to do one and I didn't want her to be the only one in the family with a doctor against her name. I did my PhD out of spite. I, I, I did a PhD because somebody gave me free money to do it. I did my PhD to have the title doctor in front of my name. Because I didn't think I was good enough to do a PhD and I wanted to prove myself wrong. I did my PhD as a first step towards an academic career that I was pretty sure I wanted. I did a PhD so I could write books. Well, I did a PhD because I wanted to maximise my opportunities for spending time in France and for spending time in libraries and uh, ultimately for maximising my opportunities to spend time in libraries in France. I did my PhD to learn from wise elders who could instruct me in the arcane knowledges that they knew about and I didn't yet. I had done research with my supervisors before I started my PhD and I just wanted to hang out with them more. I did a PhD to find out if I was just weird or if I hadn't found my crowd and then I found them. I think I did a PhD because I was trying to find my inner train spotter. I did my PhD so that I could hold the highest possible degree in the UK. I did my PhD to explore the extent to which personal experience could be written into academic work. So why would you want to do this project? Well, it's a chance to focus on a novel contemporary problem facing health services. And it's a chance to have a significant impact on those services by working across different communities, designers and users of technology, and working out how those communities can be brought closer together. And we are the perfect supervision team for this project because we bring five diverse but complementary areas of expertise to bear upon this problem. We bring a shared philosophy of inclusive and developmental approaches to research supervision. And we are your entry point to a vast international interdisciplinary network of practitioners and researchers in this area. I want to be your supervisor on this project because I love working with students to find what is that unique original contribution that only they can make and to find the right form and format for its expression. I want to be your supervisor in this super exciting project because I also have family history of kidney dialysis. I want to be your supervisor because I want you too to have the opportunity to visit libraries in France. I don't actually mean that literally, although it might be an option, but what I want you to be able to do, what I want to help you with is for you to be able to do whatever it is you feel you think will be necessary to get your project done. I want to be your supervisor because my own PhD supervisors were phenomenally nurturing and supportive and I want to be that for you. You want me as your supervisor because I'll let you get away with the things that the others won't.